G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm with Kimberly and we're going to minister to 10 people today the word of the Lord. All right, so uh, the first person I want to minister to is Joshua Weimel. All right, so Joshua, uh, I was praying for you today and the Lord is continuously giving give me this word launch and I felt that the Lord says this is a time to launch in your life and now uh, I think it was last week when we were praying for you, uh, I saw how the Lord was turning you uh, and positioning you. And now I get the word launch. So there's definitely things on the move and on a change in your life. Um, so I just want to declare the anointing of God over you. Because I felt, you know, every time someone launched, they need the anointing. And, you know, even before Jesus and, uh, uh, launched his own apostles and disciples, he said to them, you need to receive the power of the Holy Spirit before you go out to witness. And I just felt... The same thing is happening to you. There's a fresh anointing that the Lord is pouring over your life so that you can launch. Joshua, the Lord gives me the word for you, Captain. And He is saying that you have the wisdom and you have the authority to take the initiative to say this is where we're going to go. This is what needs to happen. You need to be there. The Lord says, Son, I, I have given you wisdom. I have given you knowledge. I have opened up your eyes to, to see what is my plan and I see how you execute his plan perfectly. Like you are this captain of this ship but you are taking orders from like the, the higher command and what he says is, is exactly what you are ordering the people to do. And the Lord says that when, when you speak, know that you have authority and that you have the Lord's authority backing up what you're saying because you're not looking within you to find the word, you're looking within him. Be blessed. Hey, Joshua, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Rainier. Uh, Rainier, uh, the Lord shows me a piece of land, but you haven't sown seed on this land. But I see the seed that you sow is different than a seed that you sow from the year before. All right? So for a few seasons, you've sown one type of seed on that land. And so now you in a new season and you are aware that the Lord wants you to change the seed that you sow and the harvest that you get. But now you haven't sown the seed yet. And I just felt that the Lord says, now is the time to act in faith and to sow the seed. And so I felt that there's going to be new scriptures. There's going to be new things that you're going to be saying. You're going to be declaring with your mouth that's in the spirit. But even in a natural, I see in a business that the Lord is going to give you wisdom to change to make a change you know in some uh, farmers will tell you uh, it's, it's not good to to plant the same thing every year on the same piece of land you sometimes need to change it because that's good for the soil of the land sometimes you need to give it a rest also so now i felt that the lord says this is a year of change in your life especially when it comes to what you produce god bless you Okay, Mr. Rainier, the Lord shows me how you need to make sure that you don't have any loose ends, that anything, especially coming to the end of the end of the year, that you need to make sure it's either ready to continue or being cut off. I hear the, the Lord shows me how you are climbing this mountain. And he says, make sure that you hook into the, the hooky thing before you start climbing again. Like you're scaling like the side of a cliff. And normally they'll have like places for you to, to hook your, your safety gear on. The Lord says, make sure you are safe. Make sure that you are secure. And I hear the Lord saying, make sure your family is secure before you make the next move. Be blessed. Hey, Rainier, God bless you. Uh, so Michelle, I was praying and the Lord showed me how you had a key for a lock. And for a few years. And you were unlocking it. And then you locked that door and you lost the key. And then I saw this year how the Lord gives you that key again. But you need to take that key and uh, take it to them so they kind of just polish it a little bit so it can easily go into the lock and unlock the lock. So it fits, but when you push it in, it doesn't go in easy. So you just need to polish it. They got like a little, I don't know, a little sanding machine, whatever they use on the keys to make it smooth. Anyway, but I, I felt that is skills, that is anointing, that is calling in your life that you had. And you used it that the Lord is just reactivating in your life. Um, so uh, uh, Paul was talking to, to Timothy and he said to them, him, stir up the gift of God that's on the inside of you. And I just see, you know, like those people when I stir those pots of stew, I just see how the Lord is stirring up inside of you new passion, new uh, desire for the things that he's going to do in your life. God bless you, Michelle. 
Okay, Miss Michelle, the Lord shows me this beautiful covering over over you, and the Lord says that you can you can have peace and you can have have joy, knowing that you are covered, that your children is covered, that your family is covered by this beautiful prayer. I see how every prayer that you have spoken that you have asked the Lord, like, please protect us, the Lord, and you give thanks to the Lord. That just adds to this amazing shield that, that your family, family is covered by. And that shield has so many colors. And I even see how as the more deeper you go into the spirit when you pray, how oil just starts to drop out of that, uh, out of that like protection, like vessel um, cylinder that's surrounding your whole family. So the Lord says, press in because your prayers are really, really protecting your family. Be blessed. Hello, uh, Ranier and Michelle. Uh, God bless both of you and also uh, John and Bianca. Uh, I. I trust that the Lord is going to bless them and use them in a mighty way. All right, so uh, the next word is for Paul Basson. Okay, so Paul, uh, I was praying for you and the Lord showed me a car that was, it was fairly new, but you, you kind of kept it underneath the top, you didn't use it. It's like a tool. Okay, then there was the old one that you use all the time. And this one, you kind of save it for that special occasion that you can just kind of go a small distance with it and then you put the top over it again and I felt that the Lord says he's given you amazing skills giftings talents and even physical tools in your life and some of you you feel those are reserved just for special occasions you're not going to use them but I felt that the Lord says it's time now to start using the gifts and the skills that I've given to you and, and then I'll add to it maybe that can explain it better it's as if you take that gifting to your workplace and you use it there but when you come to your home you don't always use that same skills and gifts that you use at your workplace all right and i just felt that the lord says take out those tools use it he's given you a lot of wisdom and understanding and i see how you use that gifting of wisdom and understanding in your life now uh, in the bible it talks about solomon king solomon and how much wealth he brought into the nation of israel because of the wisdom and the understanding that was on his life. Of course, he, he made a few mistakes, um, but um, overall, he took Israel financially massively uh, to a higher level just because of wisdom and understanding. And that wisdom of understanding was a gift that God gave to Solomon. And I believe that the Lord has given that same gift to you also. God bless you, Paul. Yes, from Paul, even before dad was talking, I just heard the words, put the key in the ignition. And even that same action, press forward. Um, even and the Lord even shows me like this joust, how you are pressing forward and you are holding out your lance and you're not going to put it down. And, I, and I, the Lord also shows me how because you have been faithful, your land will be fruitful. And um, this is talking about your, your physical land and like um, any other land that you own, like your, your family, it will be fruitful. And I, and I see how the Lord, how you went in the spirit and you kind of walked around your land just marking it saying lord here is where i am and even how in the spirit you're walking around like your children and your home this is my family and i see how those are just really highlighted to the lord right now and i see how rain how where the the property next door to you and even like kids next door to your to your kids they might not be succeeding very well or the land next door might not be succeeding very well but the lord shows me how on your home on your life on your property there will always be rain there will always be enough and the lord is still bringing more and more supplies to to your whole um to your whole reach be blessed all right paul god bless you um so the next word is for david okay so david the lord shows me how you are fighting with the sword and in your fight because you don't want to get hurt you you don't go on um on offense you just defend yourself you just on defense the whole time uh, and i felt that the lord says in your life in your finances in your spiritual growth even in your ministry this is now the time to go on offense it means it's time to attack to, to get the land clean, to clear the land uh, of the enemy. Uh, because the Lord says, I'm giving you the land. Now you need to occupy it and just get all of those um, uh, little things that try to, to come attack you out of, out of the way. Mm -hmm. And so I just felt 
that uh, even in your house, you're going to make some changes, even in the way you speak, in the way you think, the thoughts that you think about yourself, are you going to make changes and you're going to go on offense and you're going to attack and you're going to rise up. Um, and then the Lord shows me a light rising up. Uh, and uh, it's almost as if the light was dark and the light shines brighter and it goes up. And I just, and I just felt that is the light that shines in your life and through your life to others around you also. God bless you, David. David, uh, the Lord shows me how you keep your shield up. No matter where you're going, you know that you are covered by the Lord, that you do not go anywhere, that you do not go into a battle without your shield. The Lord shows me how you are really good with the sword how you use it so well, but the Lord says, do not go without your shield. It will protect, it is going to protect you. I also hear the Lord saying that he is, the Lord shows me how his hands are like on your back and how, so sometimes like when your back is really sore, like it's good to put heat on it. And the Lord shows me how he's just putting heat on your back and he's just making sure that like your whole body is going to get healed and it's going to go well with you. But that heat is also showing me as spiritual pressure, like the Lord is pushing you. He's pushing you and, and, and it's in, into new territory. And the Lord says, go what I have given you to go with, with your sword and your shield and my words when, when you go. Because I'm pushing you there and the Lord wants you to start delivering something. Be blessed. Hey, David, God bless you. Uh, Susan, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is um, how you're a young girl and how you are crossing a very, very busy street. Uh, and it's quite dangerous. And by yourself, you, there's so many cars going by yourself, you won't make it. And then I saw Jesus standing right next to you and he's taking your hand and he says, just wait, I go, wait, wait. I go, and then when the, the cars are passed, then he walks with you across. And I felt that there is a big change that the Lord is bringing in your, in your life. But the Lord says, you're not going to do it by yourself. You're going to be, uh, uh, he's going to hold your hand. He's going to help you to make sure that Although it might seem dangerous, because he's holding your hand and he waits for that right timing and he walks with you uh, uh, at the right time, uh, it will be safe and it will be fine for you to cross. So some people will say, well, you mustn't uh, be in the street or play in the street or because that's dangerous. Uh, but I just felt that the Lord says, don't worry about the danger. Just keep that your hand in the hand of Jesus and he's going to keep you safe and he's going to lead you. Uh, and then again, I saw... Uh, you walk now with Jesus and you guys go to like a movie theater. Uh, but uh, the movie theater is quite dark. So you can't really see the steps and you don't know where the seat is where you're sitting. But he knows exactly. So he, again, he's holding your hand. So you're going through a little bit of dark area until you're in your seat. And then you get your popcorn and your, and your drink and you can enjoy your movie. And then you, you feel comfortable again. And I felt again, when you go through that area where there's not clear vision, you, you're not exactly sure. I just felt it's a good place where the Lord is going to bless you. It's going to be peaceful. It's going to be entertaining. A lot of laughter and joy. Uh, what the Lord is going to bring into your life. And so I just see this almost like two transitions that's coming in your life. And in both instances, Jesus is holding your hand. Uh, but the end of it is a lot of laughter and joy. God bless you, Susan. Uh, and Susan, the Lord shows me how he has given you this canvas to, to paint on. And he says, I want you to start pouring more creativity out and, and expressing the love of the Lord onto this canvas. And I, and I see how this canvas can be people, can be a business, but the Lord says, I want you to pour out my love onto this canvas. And I see how how he's built this canvas. He's made this canvas and he says, I'm, I'm, I'm putting you in charge and giving it color. And I see how this is going to be like the next step in your life, in your ministry. In, in your personal ministry and just putting color into other people's lives. The, the, the Lord loves you and he wants to express his love through you onto others. Be blessed. Hey, Susan, God bless you. Um, uh, we love and appreciate you. So the next word is for Annemarie Strijdom. So Annemarie, uh, I just see how the Lord puts an anointing on your hands and how you have so much fun and joy doing things with your hands. And then the Lord gave me that scripture that the Lord will bless the work of our hands. And so when our hands are doing something, not only will it be fun for us to do it and there's creativity, but it is also a blessing. And so I felt that the Lord is going to bring finances into your hands 
through the things that you do. And so the Lord is putting on you a crown of joy. And I've seen it the last time we prayed for you also, that crown of joy. And you need to keep it on and continuously, uh, you know, keep your thankfulness, keep your joy in your life. Uh, but now I see also that the Lord is just putting uh, that anointing oil on your hands to bless the work of your hands. God bless you, Anna Marie. Auntie, Auntie Anna Marie, the Lord shows me how wherever you are, whatever season you feel like you're in, know that the Lord is always with you, that when you just start engaging Him in the times that it feels tough, that you will feel that He is actually nearby and that He has never left. I, the, I see the Lord just coming and He says that I'm going to fill your home with these beautiful singing angels. And I, and I see how you go. Because the angels, they sing holy, holy, holy to the Lord. And I, and I hear the Lord saying that I want your home to be filled with worship. And He is taking the, full, the first step. He is sending in music into your home. And I hear the Lord saying when you go into your quiet time, He says, listen. Listen to the song of worship that is being that is being played unto Him. But how you join into that song and you just start worshiping the Lord. Be blessed. Okay. Awesome. Anna Marie, God bless you. Uh, so, Lawrence, I saw you um, attempting to shoot a buck, uh, but at a very, very long distance. And, and all the, the people around you said, um, uh, it's, it's actually not possible for you to be able to have a clean shot uh, on that distance. Also because there were so many bushes where that buck was standing, so it, uh, it, it was very, very difficult. Uh, but you aimed and you, you were steady and confident and you pulled that trigger uh, and you hit the buck exactly in the right spot where you aimed uh, and it was a, a, like, a, um, like a record that you set for the longest distance to shoot that particular buck in that environment. And, and I felt that the Lord is saying to you, especially in your work situation, that you are going to set, set a new record. And actually see a certificate that it says there, record holder, Lawrence. Uh, and I felt that the Lord is releasing that blessing upon you. And you're going to see how you're going to um, meet people. You're going to uh, uh, put a deal through. You're going to accomplish something. And they're going to say, this is a record. That's what the, the Lord is showing to me. God bless you, Lawrence. Okay, hey, Mr. Lawrence, the Lord just shows me. And he says, put up posters, spread the word. And I hear the Lord saying, but like the word of, of, of your business, of this creation that you have made. And the Lord says, spread the word, share it. He wants this, what you have made to be, to be prosperous. Prosperous? To yeah. be prosperous. And, and he says, tell people about it. Don't be afraid to show passion about something that you have made because the Lord loves it. He truly, truly loves it. And he wants to use it, even if it's selling something or giving like counseling or telling people about something, the Lord will use anything. And the Lord wants to use that to involve, to get people involved in something that is at the end for him because I see whatever you have made or whatever you are going to make is at the end going to glorify the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, Lawrence, uh, God bless you. So Malvina, I see uh, the same anointing that has been on Lawrence for business over this last 10 years. The Lord is also putting on your life and you're going to see similar results. You're going to see a lot of increase that the Lord is going to bring in your life. And so I just felt the Lord is saying to you, do not give up. Uh, just keep going. You're going to see the results. That was the first thing. The second thing, I saw how you ministered to a lot of people. And every time when you minister to them, the blood of Jesus comes and washes them clean. So I was thinking, is this now a deliverance ministry? Or is this taking people into the courts of heaven? Or um, uh, helping people to be set free from their past? Or maybe they struggle with their self-image. But I just felt, I just saw how you were ministering to people. And then every time when you pray, then oops, there comes the blood of Jesus and washes them clean. And so I really felt that, that you not only ministering but you working with God you know in the Bible it says they uh, every way where the disciples went they preached the word and then the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through signs and wonders and I felt that's what the Lord is going to do through your life God bless you Miss Novena, the Lord shows me how you and Mr. Lawrence are like chained together in, in this beautiful, beautiful marriage. And I hear the Lord saying that He is going to bless your marriage even more. The Lord shows me how you will, that you will always have enough and that you will never have to fear that, some, that you don't have enough. And even months when you feel like that was a bit close, but you can have peace in knowing that the Lord 
is, is so in favor of, of your household and, and is really going to protect you. And the Lord shows me how, how your song to Him is so, so sweet. Your prayers to Him, your worship to Him is so, so sweet. It is a sweet fragrance unto Him. And the Lord says, do not stop. Do not stop pressing into my presence and releasing this fragrance. Because I, I see how this fragrance has been has been a gift that the Lord has given to you to release, not only to Him, but to others as well. Releasing this beautiful fragrance of this is the Lord's love and this is His atmosphere and this is his like tangible like almost like energy you can feel it like in the air this presence and I see how you really you strongly carry that and do not ever think that you need to dial it down when you are around others if anything let it come out even more that beautiful river of the Lord be blessed okay awesome God bless you Malvina uh, so the next word is for Marina uh, so Marina uh, the Lord reminds me of the <coughs> parable of the ten virgins so, ten virgins had oil in their lamps, uh, and their lamps were burning, and then at midnight, the five talents that were wise, they, everybody's lamps were down. They had extra oil, and they poured the oil into their lamps to fill it up again, but the other five, they didn't have oil, so they asked the ones that, didn't, that did have the oil, can we borrow some of your oil? And they said, no, no, no. You can't borrow our oil. We got this extra oil because we want to be ready whenever the groom come so that we can have enough oil. So you got to go out and buy your own oil. And I felt that the Lord is just saying to you, uh, you've been using your can of oil and you've poured your oil into lots of people's uh, jars. But I felt that midnight is coming. There's a change coming. And the Lord says, this is not a time now to, to use that oil. But this is a time to come to the Lord and let him fill your cup let him fill your canister of oil and let him fill up your oil and so that you can be ready when midnight come with the oil and so i just felt that the lord is saying to you that you sometimes take a lot of responsibility on you and the lord is kind of saying to you and say but each one of those 10 virgins actually had the responsibility before god to make sure that their can is full of oil and so i just felt that the lord says that don't take everybody's responsibility I felt that the Lord says you have to stand in the calling and the responsibility that he has given to you and there is a group of people that is giving you the authority to take um, res responsibility over and you have to cover them but then there's other people that the Lord didn't call you to take responsibility and so you don't want to go outside of your boundary because then your oil is going to get depleted you only have enough oil for the people that God has given to you so I just, I just felt that the Lord is just um, and I don't want to say a warning, but it's just kind of giving you that wisdom mm. to say you don't have to take care of everybody, just the ones that He has given to you. God bless you. Yes, Auntie Marina, God is such a good, good Father and He wants us to always be prepared. I hear the Lord saying that you can, in this time, about other things, you can really relax because you can know if you know where your help comes from. That, that the, there's so many good things that happened in your life and there is still to come. The Lord has truly blessed, blessed you. But I hear you need to come back into knowing the Lord is my provider. He is where every every good thing flows from Him. And you must just come back into realization knowing that everything I have and every, every good thing that has ever happened to me and sometimes things that were there to build my character were there because the Lord has placed it there. And the Lord wants to remind you that your help comes from Him and that you don't need to find it on, in other places because He will send you there where there is good ground or will he, he will send you to the right well where there is good water. He will send you to the right... Um, um, the Lord shows me like this, this, this stable, the right place for you to lay your head. He will send you there. And I hear the, and I see how you just need to come back into these, these big ears that I feel the Lord has given you, but they've, they've kind of shrunken down a little bit. The Lord says, put on these big ears of hearing me and, and hearing my footsteps where I'm walking, that you may follow me. Be blessed. God bless you, Marina. Thank you, family. It was such a pleasure for you for me and for Kimberly to minister to you today. So I just wanna say something about uh, where I'm at. Uh, so uh, for some of you know, uh, I went through the terrible accident about five weeks ago. Um, 
me and Shannon and Anna and who was else with us? Uh, Amy and Anna, yeah, and uh, yeah, Shannon, Amy and Anna. The three of them plus me. We were in a car and our car rolled, but uh, four times. Uh, all three of them are perfectly fine. They 100%. They had a little bit blue. Uh, spots and so and but all of that is gone uh, with me my two ligaments on the back of my back uh, Dr. Walter Bell he measured it for me uh, is about 15 millimeters away from the from the spine uh, on both sides so it's still a little bit of a gap uh, but my other muscles um, has adjusted a little bit so and then the physio told me I must sit straight up so I've been like four four weeks like that and she said no 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 you must try to straight up so you can relax the muscles in your back and you must rather stretch the front so that's why I'm trying to <laughs> set up as a little bit of an adjustment because I've been you know almost frozen shoulder for this last month and now I gotta stretch and I gotta uh, do a little bit of exercises uh, so uh, Dr. Walter tell me he thinks the ligaments will grow back onto my spine on the 15th of November so that's about what's it almost a month from now um, when when the the ligaments will attach to my spine and then at that time I'm gonna go back to him he's gonna do a sonar check how it looks and if it looks fine uh, then I'm gonna have to go to a biokineticus um, to do some exercises and uh, just to rebuild my muscles again and also to strengthen my back but carefully so that we don't now tear the ligaments off my back again so um, it's uh, um, I'm actually doing great in comparison of doing a week or two or three ago um, I, I'm still struggling a little bit to sleep in the night so uh, this past night we, I went to bed at 8 and then from 2 o'clock I was like I tried to sleep but my body is so sore, I don't know what to do. So I, I tried maybe till 3 o'clock and then I got up this morning and I just went. I read a little bit of Bible. Um, I typed something on my computer and then later on I went back to clear and tried to sleep a little bit more. But uh, uh, it's tough for me. Uh, but uh, the, the doctor said to me, you would like for me if I can try not to sleep too much in a day. Uh, because what happened to me, I started to go into REM sleep in the daytime and then at night I can't sleep. So now I have to kind of like, you know, a baby that sleeps in a day and they awake at night. So I kind of have to reverse my sleep pattern again. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually doing great. And um, uh, I'm praying a lot. I'm praying a lot in tongues. Um, every time when uh, I feel uncomfortable, then I just switch over into tongues and I just start to, to pray and I just declare the word of God uh, over my body. Uh, and also then the Lord start to show me all kinds of stuff. So uh, it's both a physical and a spiritual experience that I'm going through. And, and the God is good and I'm full of joy and I'm full of excitement uh, about the future. Uh, yesterday, Shannon... Uh, finished the last subject of a GED so I got now two girls that finished their high school uh, and so today me and Shannon had a long talk about what's gonna happen in the future so it's all kinds of good things happening in our in our lives I love and I appreciate each one of you you are all amazing God bless you Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.